Welcome to a brief tutorial on using BoardMaker software. Now I'm actually working in BoardMaker Plus. There will be some buttons that I will not be demonstrating because they're um, exclusive to BoardMaker Plus. When we open BoardMaker, we have three options. That's to open a template, a saved board that we've already created, or a new board. Here's our new board. You have the menus up above, and I'm going to work backwards here. I want you to be able to help yourself, so using the Help button and the Help Topics will always be available. You open this, and often I keep it running while I'm working, and you can look for things under Contents or Index by alphabetical order, or you can do a search. and. Um, look for any help that you need. So I open that, minimize it, and keep it running while I'm working in BoardMaker. <coughs> Dynamic boards and buttons are exclu exclusive to uh, BoardMaker Plus. Here you can set your text size and your font um, justifying. You have different views. You can edit, copy, cut, paste. Clear is how you will clear a button if you're not liking what it looks like, and your file to open new boards, save, um, close, and one of the first things you want to do is go into the print setup because you'll want to um, decide if you want your board in portrait or landscape, number one, um, and this needs to be done before you create your board or you'll have some difficulty changing its setup. Uh, landscape and these are the buttons that we'll be working with this is our symbol finder this is your pointer tool your button tool you have a freeform button tool spray tool line tool text tool symbol 8 I'll show you but it is exclusive to BoardMaker Plus and then you have some buttons to um, work with the appearance of your board colors a line thickness for buttons and shapes and shade tool and you can zoom in and zoom out. So let's create a button. Click on my button tool. You see the crosshairs on the board. You need to press your left click and hold it while you drag your mouse to create your button. The dotted line around the outside means that it's active. I can make some changes with this button. Um, if it were not highlighted, I could not. So let's go to uh, the color tool and let's change the color of my button. Uh, let's change the line width, there you can see. And let's make it um, with rounded corners or better yet, let's make it a circle. Now, I've created a button. I like the way it looks. I would like to have um, multiple buttons that look just like this. Instead of making each one from scratch, this is where I use the spray tool. Click on the spray tool, come down to my button, press my left click on my mouse, hold it down, and drag and that is how I create multiple buttons that are exactly the same size and shape. That is the spray tool. Now, let's look at the symbol finder. I'm going to open up my symbol finder. Bring it over here so you can see it. You can see I've added photos, so you can add photos of students or, or um, staff into this. Um, this first window here is your search window. So we can write in animal. Now the window right below tells me there are 11 different animal pictures that I could choose from. I could arrow through and look at all of the animals or I could come to this box tool, display thumbnail view click on that and it'll show me all of the animal pictures that are there. Let's come back to this one. Now, I can come over to my button that's highlighted. I can click in the button, add my animals, or also I could um, 
in my search, if I hit enter, the button will also fill. Now, you see both of these say animal. I want to show you the window down below is where you can change the text in your um, window. So let's just let's just say we want this symbol to say crackers. So I could take that out. Or I could take the whole word out and write in a new word. Okay. And that will be the word that is displayed in your button. Crackers. <clears throat> okay, so you have the search window. Put in a search word. You can search your picture symbols with the arrow tool or with the thumbnail display and you can change the text in the window below. Let's say lunch. Now if you want to refine your search you can go into select categories and you'll get this window with categories for um, calendar, for health, for family, for home, for foods. Now if you want to refine this to only people, the best thing to do is come over here and clear all categories and come back and just select the items that you want to search. So that is one way of refining your search. I'm going to go back and I'm going to restore so that it shows all my symbols. So that is the category button. <clears throat> this button you can um, change names, you can add different um, symbols, you could import a photo, you could write in the name, I could write in my name and have this be me. I could import my photo and then what I have to do is assign a category and this would come under people and family and um, so I've created a button with a picture and my own name and I want that to always come up when I put that in the search. Um, then you'd say okay, but we're just going to cancel out of that. So that helps you build your library um, by adding different ones. This uh, button here makes some changes. You can have, I think there's up to 40 languages and you may want to for your English language learners or for things like maybe a newsletter home to families who um, are using a different language. You can have more than one title. You can have it in English and you could add Spanish. You could change the font. That might be kind of big to have that big a font and um, maybe you want to emphasize one over the other. Have one bigger or smaller. And um, the other thing you can do in this window is you can change it so you have color symbols or just black and white symbols. Okay, and we'll leave the language up there so you can see what that looks like. So here we have fast foods in English and then we also have it in Spanish. When I put it into the button you'd see both um, titles in there. I'm going to go back and just change that for us so that we just have the English. Okay. So that is the symbol finder. Your search window, search through the symbols, search through the um, thumbnail display, refine with the categories, um, add to your uh, library with the um, category button, and change the name on the labels in this window and your tools button where you can um, add different languages uh, and if you want it in black and white. Now this tool is your lasso tool. I may only want this glass out of this picture and I can go up and use my lasso tool and lasso that cup of water or juice. 
Uh, let's and I could also write in there um, grape juice. Okay, so now I have a new label. Now I'm going to show you um, not only how the lasso tool works, but when I click on this, I'm going to get a box that says replace or add to. And in this case, I'm going to replace. And there I've put in my um, grape juice. My label didn't show up, so let's go up and use the text tool and right in here. I'm just going to put juice. So that's one incidence where maybe you'd want to use the text tool. Now, let's say I want to have um, more than one uh, picture in this. Let's open up our symbol tool again. Let's say I really do want that hamburger and the juice. I just don't want that man. So I'm going to use the lasso tool again. Get my hamburger and I'm going to click on here and now I don't want to replace my juice I just want to add to it but it covered it up so I click on my picture I get a dotted line around it now I can resize it and I'm going to click on my juice and I'm going to resize that and I can move it I can click on there now I have juice and a hamburger we really need to change um, our text. So I'm going to delete that and what I did is I double clicked on the text, the window came up and I said yes I want to delete it. I double clicked on it, hit backspace, then I got the delete button. Here's my text tool again and I'm just going to put lunch in there. So I've created my own button with a couple of pictures that I lassoed and used the text button to um, put my label on it. It's another way of um, creating your button, individualizing it. Now I wanted to show you one more thing after we've created some buttons that if you have a button that you want repeated after it's created, you can use that sim um, the um, spray tool, go to that button, again, push down on your left click, hold it down, and drag, and you can create multiple buttons um, once you've already added your picture. The one other thing I didn't show you is um, I'm going to change my background color. I can change the background color because I clicked on the background with my arrow tool. Let's click on there. Green's a little bright. Let's try something else. Yellow. Um, again, you can think about your students with visual impairments, making more contrast. Um, so that is it in a nutshell, creating buttons and using the tools and using the symbol finder. Um, to create picture symbol boards. Thank you.